Hi guys, I'm Anna and Lola, and we are watching Haiku. <laughs> My boys, Kids. I miss them so much. Yes. My Karasuno, is that what it's called? Yes. The high school. I we don't have t-shirts. This one was it. Because Milan forgot to bring them. They're at her place. I didn't even know they're at my See, place. See, that's how much you didn't care. Now, la last time I brought the t-shirts to your place. And you didn't wear it. You had it in your hands and you didn't wear it. You chose not to wear it. I forgot. <laughs> exactly. You chose not to wear it. Yes, but I like, just didn't I know they're at my place. I still brought them. And you didn't even think twice. I didn't know. I, first, I didn't know that they were at my place. Second, I didn't think before coming what we are going to film. Exactly. We're not thinking about Haikyuu. That's true. I knew we were supposed to film Sopran, so that was in my mind. I'm so sorry, guys. That's... You should apologize. <laughs> my voice. Guys, sometimes we uh, have these types of conversations where we filmed for a bit. Oh, we filmed, like, we didn't even film that long. What are you talking <laughs> the about? What are you talking about? I... It's just like we have, we have been spending every day together for, like, the past That's 10 true. days. That's and true. And so then we start That's losing our minds. A bit much. And we were exactly like facts. Some of you don't know that, maybe, because you don't watch the bear. But if you don't, you should. And then you would get get the reference. Of the fact, no? I will still not accept it, although... Maybe. You accepted it on the trip. Yes. I was like, we're exactly the facts, and well, you were we like, were yes. We were on the airport hour eight, <laughs> yes. when we missed, like, yes. three fucking flights. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I did, but... So, like, we were losing it a bit. Yeah. But this is Haikyuu episode 10, I think. Yes. Oh my I'm god, excited. we're going to double digits, and we're gonna finish in double digits. <laughs> I miss them so much. Who do you miss the most? Oh my god, don't do that. Oh my god, I miss them all. I like all... I literally... This is gonna be that the one show when, where I don't think I can rank them to okay. save my life. Okay. They all deserve love. I agree. What? Do you, can you rank them? <laughs> no. Okay. I miss Noya the most, but like I can't rank them. What a cute fucking boy. He's very boy. cute, yeah. What a cute boy. And it... in the last episode, we kind of also met... I mean, we met him in the second to last we also watched, but like a lot of it in the previous episode I still don't know the name exactly but like the ace yeah and he is as everyone fucking else a ray of sunshine and mm -hmm. now he is third year people have clarified oh, okay. who is third or second I didn't read it Okay, he is third year, the captain is third year, so and we're saying Suga is third year. Um, That's Noya what I mean. Is second year. Yes, Noya okay, and Tanaka are bit, second year. Probably, you know what? Probably season one is the third year. Well, that's what I mean. Like, we're gonna have to say goodbye to them. I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown, I think, at the end of season <laughs> one. Like, that, that's gonna pain me. You know what I mean? I know. Like, that also brings, like, a cute storyline of new first years yeah. joining in maybe season two, I'm gonna assume, or whatever. And that's gonna be sweet to see, like, how our boys interact with them like i can already see hinata being fucking precious as he always yes, is yes and in my opinion somebody else getting being a captain and we see what all of them have learned from the, these boys who who are leaving who have left again they have not died what are we talking about? they they went to college or to to work or whatever you know yeah so like that's gonna be i feel like and represent it as a nice thing which it is of course it's know? not gonna be a fucking funeral but like, exactly but that's why it's but all we're talking about this it hasn't no, even come but like, to be the thing is what is funny to me is that like you had you're gonna have a nervous breakdown you know like no, i will have i understand i understand but you know like I, I, I don't think you understand what I want to say. <laughs> just... I understand what you want to say, but just acknowledge that even though it's nice that I still can't have a nervous breakdown. Even like I, I might be laughing through my tears, but it's going to be tears. Yes, that's what I want to say. Of course, I think I'm going to have tears as well. It's just like the overreaction <laughs> with the nervous breakdown is what was funny to me a bit, you know? Do you not know me? <laughs> just like go with it. What's wrong with you? Exactly, that way it was funny. I just well, laughed. What? <laughs> Anyways, like we have just met them. Why are we saying goodbye to them? Why are we sending them off? Anyways, I'm so excited but, to see But yes, Noya, I can't wait to see him because there is... I first edited this last episode, so like yes, I'm kind of with him this you know yeah and uh, like i like those loyal characters he didn't want to play until ace came back so that was very nice in my oh opinion. wait we do we're gonna have a match aren't we we're gonna have a match yeah. against yeah that's um, why the coach came yes but like he hasn't done it's, any coaching yet yes but it's but the like team did, that yes. we have a history with yes. or like we used to have a history with like our two schools Mm. like battled it out and his grandpa was the previous coach yes and right? uh, basically the 
the coach of the of that team is also the guy that he played against. Yeah, so this is just... another interesting part. No, everything is interesting again. And now we're here playing a match against these boys who were once at the went to the school, you know, and yeah. that is when Ace gave a first Ace. You know, that's what I said. A strike. A strike. Yes. So that's where I'm so we're excited. At. I'm so excited. I don't know if we're going to be introduced to more guys. I don't remember from the... And I'm wondering if the like... guy is ever going to play the guy that's like with Tsuki, you know? I don't know. Is he ever? Is he here for sport? He is there for emotional support for Tsuki. Uh, that's what he I is say, there like, to be like, he... yes, Tsuki. Exactly. You know? I understand this. And to like say some things and stuff like he that. He has like, a name. Like people, play? people have written down his name. And every time like I read the names, I'm like, who's that one? <laughs> And then I remember I'm assuming that like he's the one Alex Suzuki, and I feel bad, but like he is not presented as a main main character, so he's gonna be like an alternate. You know what I mean? I think yeah. so. But we have seen. I have no idea what position he is on. You know, like we have not seen him fight at any point. I don't think fight. <laughs> fight. They're playing volleyball. If you forgot no, no. it. Is it that serious? I don't think so. I mean, come on, you're gonna have the nervous breakdown. So. I think Who that's is correct. insane one here? You definitely. <laughs> Anyways, how about they start a fight after the match? Because they lost. Hey, volleyball sometimes is that serious. Yeah, like I said, I, I ran away from <laughs> fucking rocks being thrown at me because apparently volleyball was that serious imagine. for my schools. Imagine. What do you mean imagine? I lived through that. Yes, but like imagine. <laughs> now when you go back, you don't think that's normal. You know what I mean? No, even when exactly. rocks were being thrown at me, I was like, like this is not, not normal. normal. I'm very excited to play. Me too. Very, even though I was going to say, you would have thrown rocks at the American basketball team at you. <laughs> Don't say things like that. Don't say things like that. Because it's the truth. Because we have somebody who likes them here. (laughs) Maybe they're watching. Look, I'm so excited to play. I'm so excited to see our boys. We haven't seen them for a bit. And I really miss them. Yes. So. I would not throw rocks. (laughs) You would just say very heavy insults. I would do some punching. (laughs) Is that better? I mean, they're, they're like... Two times your size. I, I feel like your punching would be like, you know, trust like me. flies. No, trust me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, everyone fucking be scared. <laughs> Here comes Milano. <laughs> it's called yearning. Oh my god, are we yearning for... Oh my god, look at Attack on Titan. The picture, the junior high. The 550. <gasps> I wanna die. Look at the picture. Look at the fucking picture. What is that? Good heaven. No, I can't think about them too much. I'm gonna cry. We're uh, watching Attack on Titan is a mistake. Believe me, guys, a mistake. <laughs> that 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 I have like full on nervous breakdowns. Full on nervous yes. breakdowns. Yes. <laughs> and it is that serious. <laughs> but that's why like watching Haiku Haiku brings me so much joy. Yes. Because I had to like go through Attack on Titan. You know what I mean? And other shows and that are like we appreciate scarring. This. Yeah. See, I'm 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 traumatized. That's why I'm like oh. They're gonna oh, fight and now they're gonna play a game. But then I love how the ball is flying for five minutes and all the thoughts are run through their f- heads. No, but like you really have a lot of fucking thoughts in seconds. And like. Right through their hands. They're so cute. Again, the music! Oh! This is your internet. I, I, the, you should pay for a better internet. I think this is VPN's fault. <laughs> you have to use a VPN. I think this is the uh, VPN's fault. See? It's the VPN. It's the VPN that's not working. That's very bad. Hello, US Washington. Keep up. <laughs> that's what you want to be as well. Oh my god, he knows him so well. He already knows all his thoughts. Yes, you can. Fight. He Look said fight. I know. I exactly know what they're thinking. I just real like he not as approach to volleyball should be people's approach to life. Like he is taller than me, he might be stronger than me, but I can still fucking fight. So I'm not gonna give up, yes. my sweet fucking boy. All of them. Kagayama reminds me of some character. 
so much. I need to really think about it to, to figure out who. Zuko? I'm looking at Attack on Titan, but like... I don't think it's Attack on Titan. I don't know if it's anime. <laughs> yeah, like, no. Oh, I can't help you. You're not pointing me in any direction. Like, by looks or by attitude? I don't know. <laughs> I really can't help you. How can I not figure it out? I see him so clearly in some way. What is you, and you can't see if it's anime or not. I don't know. <laughs> but you see him so clearly. Adorable. Oh my god, this is adorable to me. Tanaka is so fucking happy. Okay, sure, not every time, but like. Why so negative? Exactly. That's not being negative, that's just being realistic. Okay, so sorry. I love teams. I love team sports. I love found families. Okay, sure. I love it, Tanaka is like, yeah, I'm so used to this. <laughs> but no one else is. They're connected. They're so connected. Do not see how connected it and because the toss will come wherever I jump, I wanna die. Yeah, I they are they share a brain cell. Oh my god, this is so fucking so much faith. So much faith. Adorable, I want to die. あの<笑> <laughs> they have different strengths that work in different ways, but they can work to succeed. Oh my god, you maybe know the little giant? Maybe that was your generation. <laughs> Let's breathe, boy. Let's breathe. Yes. Great. Yes. He managed to do what? Oh, he did. Ah, too high. Yeah. <laughs> いいこれ。お前、ロックが立てた確かだよ。これ、すごいな。こう。こうだ。いい点のか。こうだ。次も頼むぞ。まさに一杯で。クルストで。でも、小さな巨人は何回でも飛んでた。あの時はよく分かん
そうな身長とかパワーがあったら俺もいやいや小さな巨人は小さいけどすごかったんだいいなひなだ Look, he the ball is still there. No, it's on the floor. It looked like he really, yes. <laughs> But the way he didn't run to him. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. What did you do? The game was in the series. I know. 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 興味とか憧れの他に嫉妬してただ、うん、羨ましくって何が悪いんだもともとでっかいお前なんか絶対わかんないんだよ俺のせいで中断させたのに小山に怒鳴ってしまったよっしゃーこいやーだから小山は言う correct things that are gonna help you just like the way that he says them あのちびっこの速攻には気ぃつけないとねはいあの Interesting. Interesting tactic. Ah, <laughs> I adore him. Maybe he has a lot of trust in him. He wants to show it you can, maybe. Ah! 
<laughs> See, I will be happy whoever won, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's gonna die. That's so this means cute. he's saying him. like I, I'm jealous of you and he was just yes. like jealous of the ace, that's so fucking sweet. <laughs> Look at Suki behind them. <sighs> yes, that's true. <laughs> Look at him, I, I will die. Oh. And don't forget the stretch. stretch. He sounds like my coach now. Oh. <笑>だから、だから頑張ってください。こんなんか違うかな。頑張りましょう。大抵ウィングスパイカーのレッドの<笑> どんな呼び名でもポジションでも敵チームに一番恐れられる選手が一番完璧と思われたあのミドルブロッカーやめえぞ気付けろとか言われてさ負けないからな<笑><笑><笑> Who raised this kids? Who raised this kids?朝日はでっかいくせに本当気持ちいいさいな <笑> ちゃんと前に復活したな。頼れる店も戻ってきたし。でも京都の突き飛ばしたりするのは二度となしね。ああ、あの、やばかにもエースの平チョコウィングスパイカーも戻ってきてたな。そういえば。じゃあ一発目
I and I adore love, all of them. Yes, and I just love and adore Kageyama. Me too. Can I just? Who is he? I need to remember who I uh, who is he and where I know him from. I'm really thinking. I was thinking about it half time through this entire episode. Every time he shows up. I don't know how to help you. I don't even know if it's live action or anime. I think it's anime. Could From it be anime. maybe Full Metal? Roy? Could it be Roy? I don't see how. No? They just have dark hair. I don't think it's Levi. The thing is... Bert kind of looks like him. No, definitely not Bert. Eren? No. Just like physically. It's not just like physically. It's like the way that he's drawn and the way that he stands and behaves. I don't know. Death Note. Death Note? <laughs> Light? Like light with dark hair. Really? I think maybe Roy. Could it be Roy? I mean, maybe. Do, does he have the same sh- uh, length hair? Sure, but like he is, he looks shorter and more stacked. Roy yeah. looks stacked. What are you talking about? Just like, I mean, not stacked, just like a bit like... <laughs> he looks more stacked. I, I didn't know how to say it, like a bit more like, you know what I mean, like he's a soldier, like he was in the war. It's not Roy. It Who? doesn't matter. Oh, I thought you were gonna... I thought I was... Guys, help her. Help her out. Maybe you Who guys looks the know. same like him? You know what I mean? Look, this angry face. I know this angry face. Where do I know it from? For the love of God. Okay. That's I want to say, I love that boy. I love how his mind works. I also think it's very funny how he puts those words across. Because, like, it can sound a bit rough. You know what I mean? But, like, he says the right thing like for Hinata in this episode like he was very concerned with the fact that like here's this ace across from him and this is all he wants to be because of course I mean ace sounds just so cool and so like he kind of wants to be that and it's a thing that like in volleyball he thinks that he cannot achieve because he doesn't have the height he maybe does not have like the typical look that you would expect from volleyball but like like he said in this episode he is fast and he can jump high he's gonna continue fighting it is the most important thing like besides height or anything like he is willing and he is gonna continue trying and fighting but like of course he still has that moment of thinking like what if i was like this tall imagine how much better i would be doing and like that can always and any person can say that for any any amount of things like oh if i was a bit more like this or if i was a bit more like this and that just like brings us absolutely nowhere i think the show does such a great job of also showing like they're talking about kageyama and talking about how he is a genius like basically how he was kind of let's say born with this yeah with this ability to be such yeah. a good setter like kind of it was like written the talent. stars he has talent. yeah like he has talent and then they say, but these guys work so hard yeah. and they can make up yeah. that and they, they are, can be just as powerful because like they work on it. No, honestly, that, those are the things that like I love uh, the most in the show. Yeah. I love how he wants to be ace. He aims for like something high and being yeah. and things like that. But like with his... Uh, differences than like let's say a regular ace you know yeah like I love how he uh, at the end understands that like what he has evens out evens out with what he lacks yeah. and like that you shouldn't just like try to be somebody else you know what I mean yeah. like you should embrace who you are like he has his strength strengths you know that like he is faster than most of them. He can drop more than most of them, you know? Yeah. And that is what evens out with being a tall, you know? Yeah. And, like, I love how the show represented as a beautiful thing and that he should accept it and that he should embrace it to become better with yeah. those strengths that he possesses and not think about the, I mean, faults. Those are not faults, you know? Like, he's yeah. shorter, but, like... Not Maybe like disadvantages, disadvantages in volleyball. Exactly. <laughs> like the, like it isn't an exactly. advantage to be tall. Like it's if just... you want to be a blocker, if you want to be yeah. ace, it is yeah. a disadvantage, you know. Yeah. But yeah. like he should not focus on that. He should fo- 
focus on the good things and strength that he possesses, which yeah. are very important as well, you know, yeah. to improve those things. Uh, those are things that like I really adore about the show, honestly. Yeah. To show how they, all of them are different in yeah in their ways. And yes, Kageyama is one of my favorites as well. Kageyama, I don't know what to do with I, that boy. Like, I think, like, like when we got introduced to him, it, it was like, you know, he didn't really have that, let's say, team spirit or whatever. But like, he has embraced it just like fully. And I think mm-hmm. right now understands it best. Like when he was telling Hinata, basically to get out of his own head about thinking of himself as an individual and being like, mm. how can I, what if I be was better. maybe taller yeah. or whatever? He was like, basically snap out of it because like, you have me yeah, and I can throw you this toss where you need it to be and you can use your strengths with my strengths to create a point. And, and we go point by point. And, and team needs that as yes. well. Yes, like and team... if you get blocked, you have people behind you that are going to carry you through that. Yeah. They're going to get the ball and you have to just have faith that they're going to do that. Like, it seems to me like when he was when he was talking to him, he was like, just get out of his your own head. It's not about you, it's about the whole you team. You are not the most important here. Like, yeah. all of us bring... Uh, yeah everything to the table you know yeah and i just what a development i think he he really he has a lot of things to bring and to say that i think are very helpful to everyone but like a lot of it's helpful to hinata because like he really like they understand each other i mean the guy asked how were they childhood friends literally (laughs) they're connected to that fucking degree like they're they're soulmates i mean he knows what he's thinking about at any point he sees that he's in his head and he knows exactly what he's thinking about yeah. and he knows the way to reassure him and show him how important he is the way that he is yeah not as anybody else and to bring him to a conclusion like when he's saying i'm gonna toss to him yeah i'm gonna toss to him and you have me <clears throat> and so like i'm just gonna show you yeah. rather than just like tell you yeah and you again you work with what you have you work with your strengths and you figure out a way to be there for the team. Mm. It's about winning the point. And all of you contribute. It's not about the ace. It's not about the setter. Exactly. It's not about the libero. It's exactly. not about the... It is about the entirety of the team. No one is going to be able to... Like, what the fuck is... What the fuck is Kageyama going to do without you? Like, what the fuck is Kageyama going to do without the ace? What, what? Who the fuck is he throwing to? And what the fuck is ace without libero? Like, li- like well, no one if is he nothing. gets blocked. They all what? Volleyball oh. is the most beautiful sport. <laughs> like <laughs> what a fucking thing. beautiful sport. They all need each other. I really love the the topics where like there is a, a group of friendship, like friends who have found each other and need each other and complement each other and they do it because of each other. They help each other. Like none of them would be able to do it without the other, you know? Yeah. And like if if one of them is weak let's say at that point like the others hold them you know i love those stories and this is exactly like that just like in a form of a form of, of volleyball sport. you know of sport like i but just think every, it's so fucking beautiful and every moment it is something about like life in general yeah exactly that's i mean that is what i expected yeah from the start that was why i was so excited about this show honestly like and in every episode like it proves me like how right we were to be so excited how right i was <laughs> to root for it in every single episode to wear a t-shirt <laughs> well, every time we watch hunter you know what i mean <laughs> i thought so as well i just didn't want to sway anyone in their voting <laughs> I was, they wanted to vote score. I was, I did not mind mind swaying. <laughs> I know this adorable. I, this just adorable. I and love. I adore all of them. Like you said, like I, I I the thing is the only fault is that it's short and we watch twice a week but like once a day, you know what I mean? So like I, I like every time I'm left feeling wanting to see more and, and more and like feeling like I haven't seen enough. But I love that like we are like the team is let's say built and now we have this coach and like he has seen he has seen how good they are and how much potential and they have and there's so many things as well yeah they, like they, we need to work around receiving like yeah. we saw that in the fucking yeah. like third episode i feel like they mentioned yeah. our receiving bit 
that we have to work on and we have to like but like i can't wait to see those episodes where they're just gonna train you know what i mean yeah. where like the whole episode is just gonna be them training receiving i feel like yeah. that that would be so cute to see and them failing and yeah. then them succeeding but he did mention and he is right that like when he was a player he never thought and he was waiting to be let's say put in the starting group whatever fuck it's mm-hmm. called like he never thought about how difficult it is for the people that have to make the choice of who you're putting yeah, yeah. in the starting six, yeah. and that is like a thing that's gonna be. But I like think... how 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 much they change? Do you understand my question? Yeah, I mean, like is the starting six uh, plays the most of the game? Like usually, okay. Yeah. Libero, with Libero, it's a bit different because like they. There's certain rules with Libero. Like, they can only get exchange in, like, certain times and everything. It's a bit different. When you start the game, I don't think you start with a Libero. Like, he enters at some point and mm-hmm. he can only be in certain positions. He okay. can be in the positions behind the... Um, the fuck is it called? Like, the... You know how the their part of the court is, that line, in the last okay. three spots. Like, there's different... Terms. There's different yeah, spots like, well, the with rest of them. Because like let's say in basketball, yeah, they change all the time. Again, not that often. I mean, I feel like in okay. volleyball, it's even less often than basketball. They change a lot in basketball, in my opinion, more than in some other sports. Uh, yeah, yeah because I mean, you have to let your players more rest. important players yeah. rest. But yeah. like, still, it's a you know which are the best ones. Yeah, let's say yeah, yeah. And so like, it's not an equal amount you know i don't play. know those things are fine to me you know what i mean <laughs> yes it is but like i think it's an important bit for players to be in the starting six like to feel like you are important to the team you know what i mean like i think all the players are important it's just like i th- I, I can imagine that like it will be a bit of a hit if you're not in the starting six but like it would make you want to work and improve. That's what I want to say. Like, I'm hoping that the show is not going to show it as a devastating thing. You know no, no, no. I, I think mean? the show is going to... like, as a thing, like, okay, I, well, I'm i not right now, but, like, I'm going to work on myself. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, I think the show is going to like, want... show it as a life lesson, yeah. as always. And I yeah. think... Uh, it would be worse for me to see uh, some who are in a starting scene than... They end up Out, not being yeah. that's worse to me than like let's say if he, gonna, Hinata is not in the first six. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, if, again, it, some it, of our guys have just started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, it's gonna be rough with Kageyama being a setter and not Suga. You know, Suga mm-hmm. was here for a longer time, and yeah. so like he is demoted. Let's say like it's it doesn't a bit have rough. to be like the, that. Uh, it can be like that. Yes, but like again, we know that Suga would. Could potentially leave yeah. soon, you know? But I just think all of them have a very strong sense of what's best for the team. That's what I want to say And so, well, like, yeah. with having that thing of, like, what is best for the team, you're going to want to... You're going to want to be... You're going to want the players that makes that makes more, most sense to be on the court. I completely agree. And that's why I, like, that's why I don't see it, at least not me, as a devastating thing with the way that it is represented. Like, because, like, let's say Hinata can take it, like, all of them are talking how everybody's needed in the team, yeah. you know, and, like, that is something very important for them to understand that like they like the team would not work as well if they weren't there you know yeah so like that's a beautiful thing and they would want let's say the best players to be in the team just like kagayama said to suga i will give my best uh, give my best to uh deserve to be in the team you know if he is not the best i i would want i would like if he would to want to improve but like be happy with Suga being at that yes. point uh, on that place because like at that point he is more experienced let's yeah say, you know yeah I really wonder how they're gonna like show that I feel like again as everything in the show so far it's gonna be the most loving healing yes yes perfect scene I just I can't wait to see more of them and see more of them learning and growing together as friends and Hinata and Kageyama just continuing being the best of fucking friends ever. 
even though like they don't i don't i don't think they realize it i don't no, think they, they know don't really everyone outside of them sees it yeah. and they're just like they don't understand yes what they have yes but they it's, have it I, i love this show so much me too that's all i can tell thank you thank you so much for watching we'll, we'll see, see you soon, soon. bye